Hi, my name is Joel and Graham. I'm the Vice President of Operations here for the Driver Training Center. Pretty much I oversee the day-to-day -day operations, you know, making sure the schedules are coordinated, filling for any kind of trainings, doing testing, uh, pretty much, you know, do it all. I uh, grew up in a family of truckers, uh, so I only have one brother that doesn't have a CDL, um, cousins, uncles, um, you know, all drive truck, so it was inevitable that, you know, I was going to get my CDL and and start you know, driving at some point. It was just a matter of what type of driving I was going to do. So pretty much from a kid, I knew I was going to be driving truck someday. So I started off locally uh, driving dump truck, mainly you know, for a paving company, so mainly you know, asphalt back and forth. Did some you know, equipment transportation, N nothing more than a uh, you know, 20, 30 mile radius of Lancaster. Um, then I decided I kind of wanted to do more, and that's when I got into long haul. So I did some general freight flatbed. I uh, did that, you know, up and down the East Coast, uh, as far down as you know Georgia, uh, Alabama, um, and up as far as you know Vermont and Massachusetts. I also did a lot of specialized freight, uh, oversized loads. Uh, Lancaster County has a lot of shed builders, so I was um, one of those uh, shed haulers. Uh, pulling uh, oversized load sheds up to the Northeast. I'm not sure what made me decide I wanted to train new drivers, but I decided at some point that, you know, when this job opportunity came up, that it seemed like a new challenge. And I knew I wanted to stay in the driving industry, but, you know, being away, you know, constantly, um, I was looking for something a little bit more local uh, that kept me home more. I knew I didn't want to get out of the truck. Uh, so this presented itself as a neat opportunity to, you know, stay in the truck uh, and stay in the trucking industry. I would, I would definitely say that if you're thinking about, you know, becoming a driver trainer, I would definitely take the opportunity. It might seem, you know, not quite as fun as driving, uh, but it's definitely fulfilling. Uh, I know one of the second guys that I've ever trained uh, now has his own authority and bought his own truck, is out there trucking for himself, local guy. I see his truck out there, and it, it, it's just a pretty cool thing to watch somebody go from learning to getting their CDL to in a few years, you know, having his own authority, buying his own truck, trucking for himself, uh, and it looks like he's having fun doing it too.